Good morning guys and welcome to York. Join us on this toy hunt and we're going to go see what we can find today in York. Stick around to the end of today's video for a haul. But first things first, we're going to check out the works. The works is always one of my go-to places to try and pick up some awesome blind bags as they usually have some good stuff in. Treasure X marked down to £5, not bad at all. They've also got Block Blocks Fruits at £5, Rainbow Friends at £5 too. Lots of £5 stickers. And then I can see there's some squishy turtles over there. I've not seen those before. We'll have to check those out. Uh, what's this? Ooh, slime. Not a big fan of slime, so we'll skip that one. <laughs> there's some eeny teenies though, whatever they are. I have seen those before in Tesco's, but they're not really for me. I like the Blocks fruits because they came with the download codes, and you uh, and, and I got a toy, you guys got a download code. It was a good deal. Uh, there's the little besties as well from Care Bears. And we'll see more Care Bears later on in today's video. Sonic Squish Me's from Just International Toys. And here we go, here's some new stuff as well, some mashems. And you know, I've not really ever done mashems on the channel, and I love a blind box, so very tempted to grab those. Let, let me know in the comments if you want to see me do some mashems. I've already got some stitch stuff still to do, but these turtles are calling me at £4 a piece. I might grab one and see what it's like, and I can always come back and grab some more in a few days' time. Let's see what else we can find, though, in this store and others because I'm on a blind bag kick today guys I want to see what blind bags I can find here in York I did have the pinky promises I think I didn't really have a price sticker on those I'm not sure what they were but there's only a couple left on the shelf uh, but they didn't have a price on it I'll leave those behind Fall Guys also had the key rings and the minifigures but I've done those on the channel and you guys didn't seem overly bothered about watching Stumble Guys so I'll leave that for now the shop that must not be named is a Harry Potter store here in York. And it's on the famous street of the Shambles. Now the Shambles does kind of look like Diagon Alley. And a lot of people say that J.K. Rowling used Diagon Alley to base um, the real Diagon Alley on York, basically. Uh, but there is a bunch of Harry Potter shops here in York. And we thought we'd have a good look around them. Mrs. Super Sorrel's after a few things. So I thought I'd come in with her and see what else we could find. They had some plushies and some blind boxy stuff, but it was a little bit on the expensive side, I'm not going to lie, so we're going to skip. Now here's the Care Bears merch. Care Bears seem to be back in full swing here in HMV, but whoo, $7.99 for a blind box. I think I'll skip it. But the, the plushies seem okay value, uh, but they again, they are cheaper on Amazon, but it's just cool to see all these Care Bear merch all in one place. There you go, our only hope. Is a Care Bear stare. <laughs> How weird. I've been a long time since I've seen the Care Bear movie. Uh, I think I was a kid the last time I watched it, I'm going to be honest. But I tell you what, some of these plushes are kind of cute. I do like the look of them. And they did have Pez. You can never go wrong with Pez. In this other section, they also have a bunch of anime stuff in the HMV stores these days, as well as these awesome little blind boxes. The Wonderland ones are my favourite, but $14.99 for what, for what it is is a little bit on the expensive side. There we go, I realised they were completely out of frame for you. There we go. Uh, $13.99, yeah, I'm skipping those. But they do look cute, and I would love to get them. Zombies as well on the shelf, but we do have that, but it's cool to see that Big Cat Rescue is still available. Uh, Super Soul Jr. found Stitch. <laughs> Look at all these LOL dolls. These are in the Entertainer here in York. LOL dolls is one of is one of my daughter's favorite doll lines, and I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying opening them with her. Uh, we were looking at some of these big sets because some of the sets look really cool. Uh, they do still have the Harry Bow ones in, uh, as well as the mini LOL dolls and LOL teens now as well. They've got the teenies uh, um, figures as well. But it's this box at the top that caught my attention. Uh, the Tough Dude and Pink Chick. That is basically a Grease ripoff. And I even went outside the store and Googled it. And it, it, it's literally meant to be Grease. So we, we could be tempted by that one. Uh, that might be a big toy that, that we pick up next week after payday. Uh, as it is about $29.99. Dorables Entertainer, I'm going to say it, do not buy them from Entertainer, grab them from Smith's. They're asking for £15 a pop here, whereas over at Smith's, the £7 for the vehicles and £12 for the uh, the sneak peek ones, the, the main ones. So grab them from, uh, from Smith's, not Entertainer, I've got to say. These are the Disney caps, uh, they're made out of the bottle caps, 100% recycled figures. So, uh, Missy Superstar's got, got some of those on her channel, those are just £3 each. 
go check those out on Mrs. Supersoil's channel. Pet Simulator and Adopt Me, something I believe they're both on Roblox, not something I'm overly au fait with, but you know what, I keep seeing them and I love, I can't miss it, I can't pass up a good blind box, so I might end up grabbing some of those. Moving over here, we've got all sorts of other stuff, including the usual Jurassic World, uh, some of these sets are really cool as well with the minis, they're very tempting, and they do have a bunch of the Zeru Smashers in stock as well, but again, a little bit out of my price range right now, this close to payday. But um, we have got the um, Littlest Pet Shop. Um, I'm, I remember those as a kid in the 90s, man. Every, everything comes back around, doesn't it? Finally, we've got the YouTuber section, as I call it, full of the Blocks Fruits and the Smashlings. And the, it's all the online-y stuff um, that, you know, kids love. And you know what? I kind of like a lot of it, too. But again, Stumble Guys, Among Us, all stuff I've done on the channel now. I'm hoping for some new, an injection of new products real soon, as it is getting a bit stale in this section now. So hoping we get we get some new stuff. Real soon. Uh, what else we got in the pop section? Nothing new here. Okay, on to Home Bargains. They have a lot. Of, no, sorry, this is B&M. I do apologize. B&M. Uh, they have the uh, Zombies in stock. Athmau, four ninety nine. A lot of the troll stuff. The trolls are heavily discounted if you go to Smiths. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine seems to be the new standard rate for Monster High dolls. It's on the more expensive side. That's why I've been looking towards Rainbow High recently rather than the Monster High. The Rainbow High are a little bit cheaper, and they look just as they look just as nice. Um, just a shame they're not monsters. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's some cute, cute dolls in both lines available. Um, other than that, there wasn't anything overly uh, in here that I was, like, massively jumping for joy at, but some of the LOL doll prices... Sorry, sorry, not LOL dolls. Rainbow High dolls were re reasonably, reasonably priced in uh, B&M. Uh, some nice discounts, like Shadow was down to £12. I know she's like £24 to £27 elsewhere. So, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm just waiting for the blonde teddy bear girl to come down in price. That's the one I want. <laughs> but other than that, with the, again, they had all the LOL doll stuff, the uh, LOL teens and things like that, and all your usual Barbie stuff towards the end of the aisle. Let's jump on down to the other aisle and take a look at the Five Nights at Freddy's and all that good stuff that I usually take a look at. What a Super Soul Junior found. She found fidget spinners. Look, it's Funky Monkey! Me and my monkey! Monkey doesn't have any pants. What else we got? We got the Power Rangers. These are now marked down to $5.99. These are Super 7s. Five POA action figures. Not bad. Bunch of Mario stuff on discount. I've, I can imagine that that's going to come down further. Those are the tie-dyes. Oh my god, the tie-dyes. And they're not my thing, but they are all Walmart exclusives. They, they are hard to come by, but... Do you know what? I've never found a store that's got all four in it, so I'm not going to start the line if I can't finish it. Uh, they, they seem to have a lot of Bonnie and a lot of Fo Foxy in this store. I would have to traverse multiple stores to try and get all four of them together, I think. Um, this store is not one of my usual ones. They're not. I, I normally have a little route at home where I visit four stores to do my uh, what, what's new in b and so This store is a new one to me. This is the York store. Um, and they do have some good stuff in. I mean, $4.99 for the Stumble Guys. Stretch stretches isn't bad. Uh, $9.99 on the big five packs for Stumble Guys as well isn't bad. They have the giant squish me's for, for, for $9.99. They're then only about 15 quid. So that isn't bad either. And LOL Dolls at $9.99. It's the, one of the later sets as well. Squish me's marked down to $3.50 right now. Poppy's Playtime Series 1 in here, if you're missing any of those. And those are $4.99. Hey guys, me host Super Zero. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you saw from our video today, we went to York. We went for a nice walk around, and uh, I thought I'd share with you the haul of goodies that I picked up today uh, while I was walking around. Uh, got some different stuff today, which I was excited about. And uh, a mixture of usual stuff as well. So we started out our day walking around York and we went to the works and they had a bunch of blind baggy stuff all on discount. So I grabbed a couple of pinata smashlings, three quid a piece. Couldn't resist picking them up at that price. These were about six quid when the first came out. And um, there are DLC codes and that in there. So stay tuned on the channel. I will be doing some code giveaways when I open them up. 
We then also at works had these squishy turtles and there's all four turtles plus shredder, five to collect, four pound a pot. The, uh, the squish me's are a similar sort of thing that I usually get. Uh, you know the five nice Freddy squ squish me's, I usually do those. Uh, this is by a different company though. These are uh, Kadao, Kadao that make these, so it is different because the other ones are by Just Toys International. But four quid is about a standard going rate for these squish me things. So I grabbed one of those and I can't wait to see which turtle is inside of it. Hopefully Donatello because he's my favourite. Donatello's my boy. Then we went to B&M and they had these Five Nights at Freddy's key rings. I think I've had a couple of these before, but I'm not sure. Uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's key rings and I've got four of them and these were £2.50 each, so £10 worth. So I've got four to go out. The reason I say I'm not sure is because there's there's Vanny, Vanny's in here as well as Sun and Moon on this side, the, you know, the rabbit Vanny and then Sun and Moon. And I kind of want those. I'm sure that I've had like the alligator before, but I think I, I think there was like because of this I think this because this is series two, so I think I must have had series one figures and this is series two. So looking forward to doing those. Um, those will be a lot of fun to do on the channel as well. Let me just clear some room and then we'll carry on. Okay, then I, then I uh, had some some deliveries, and I love a good delivery. So, um, you guys have probably seen recently that me and Super Sorrel Junior have been really enjoying doing the capsule style stuff. Uh, so we did get two more of the capsule Sheik's machines. This um, we we did this review on the channel this last week. We actually got this same one, uh, but it didn't have the doll inside that Super Sorrel Junior wanted. So we're hoping for a second go. These are available still on Amazon for about seven quid, which is a bargain because these were about 30 quid when they came out-ish. Uh, so these are an absolute steal. And we've got the final one. Then we'll have reviewed one of each. And this is the... Um, what do you even call this one? Sweet Circuits. So this is like your sweet-inspired ones, like bubblegum and colours and... You know what I mean? It's like all pastely colours. So I'm looking forward to doing that one with Super Soul Junior on the channel this week because we've got two more capsule Sheiks to open. They're actually a lot of fun, them dolls. They're actually really cool. And then I found this on Amazon for four pounds, which is the Kooky Loos. Now Super Soul Junior again has been uh, loves opening these uh, as so we've got some some Kooky Loos and there's a VIP doll inside. This one caught my attention. This one's for me actually because I've been dying to get one of these. Magic Mixlings, uh, the Pixlings. So you basically get a pixie in every pack. I believe we know which one is in this one because it's the blue diamond, which correlates to the blue pixling. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that on the channel. We'll be doing a full unboxing of that bad boy. <laughs> then I got my final in the Five Nights at Freddy's figures. As you guys know, I've been after Glit Glitch Trap for a little while. I recently did Jacko Bonnie on the channel. I've done Dreadbear a long time ago when it first came out. And I've done Grim Foxy. So Glitch Trap was the last one that I needed in this line. So I've got all four of the Dreadbear figures now. Uh, the only other set that is out at the moment is the uh, tie-dye ones. And they're in B&M, Home Bargains and Smiths. But I'm not too bothered for them. They're a bit weird. I know they are Walmart exclusive ones. So they are like harder ones to get hold of. But... The tie-dye does nothing for me. And then, probably my favourite item of the week. You guys know I've been looking at Fugglers. Fugglers are these weird little monster plushies. And they did they do their own, like, Fugglers and then mini Fugglers. And they come in a big brown cardboard box. But they recently have done, like, turtles. And I was like, ooh, maybe I'll get the turtles. But then I was thinking, I don't really need four plus for, you know, Fuggler plushies on my shelf. So, when they announced that, you know, Bikini Bottom was coming into it, and who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Terrifying SpongeBob SquarePants. This is the most weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life, and he's two teeth. The teeth look and feel real, which is disgusting. But yeah, this is amazing. They also do Pat Patrick, but oh my god, he's terrifying. So... Full review, full unboxing, coming soon, of Spongebob Squarepants Fuggler. <laughs> and that was everything. I told you it was a proper random haul this week. 
But uh, I'm looking forward to opening it all, guys. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing on the channel at the moment. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm not taking myself too seriously. We're just having fun with toys with me and my family. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for everything to be uh, unboxed and reviewed in um, a short and long form video on the channel. And I hope you guys are excited as I am to watch these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, why not smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you guys real soon. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye!